give you a quick rundown with our long free diving fins here at Weddy. We start with our reef long free diving fin, which is a moulded in blade. This means the blade is moulded into the foot pocket, so, so you can't actually replace the blade or take it out. It's a very popular fin, it's very strong, great performance, fits wide feet and has good transfer of power. As we go up from our reef fin, we go to our sparrow fin. The only real difference is the blade can come in and out of the foot pocket, so it's interchangeable. That means down the track, if you want to put a composite or a carbon fibre blade, you can fit it into the foot pocket. Then we have our ultimate fin, which is the top of our plastic fin range. This one here is also interchangeable. It has a nice wide foot pocket and also has bigger angle on the foot pocket and blade. That makes it easier to kick with, because with the long fins, you're bending your knees and it's a long stroke, as opposed to a flutter kick. That means you're using bigger muscle groups so you can keep your heart rate down and you don't burn as much oxygen. Having more angle on your foot pocket means you go from having a straight blade like this to being half cocked, making it easier to bring below the surface and easier to kick with. A very important thing when we look up to our long free diving fins with the composite blades. Now we go to our composite, which often people refer to as a carbon blade. They're not. They're a fiberglass composite. We'll talk about the carbon blades afterwards. They're very strong and probably the best all-round style of fin to be using for the top end in New Zealand spearfishing or freediving. Our ones here, which are made in New Zealand, come with a three-year warranty. Very strong. And the bonus to having a fiberglass composite as opposed to the plastic is you get better snapback. That means you're putting the same amount of effort into your blade, but getting more performance. So for long period of swimming or deeper diving, you're getting a better performance from it. So we have our workhorse range here in two different lengths. Then we have our elite range here in multiple different colours. It's the same length as our workhorse blade. And then we'll talk about carbon fibre. So we have both pure carbon fibre and we have carbon anegra. So this has an anegra weave through the carbon to give it extra strength and extra um, performance. So we go with our pure carbon fibre fins here. I've got both C4 and Pathos. An important thing to look at when you go to buy carbon fibre blades is you want to spend a bit of money on them because the cheaper ones are going to be sandwiched carbon. That means they'll be full with resin and a composite on the inside and they merely just put a layer of carbon either side to make it look like it's a carbon fin. As opposed to all the blades here like the C4 or the Pathos, they're pure carbon fibre. So extremely light and you'll be able to see down the edges there's nothing sandwiched in the middle. Carbon fibre, great performance, light to swim with, good for deep diving. But for a lot of us New Zealand spear fishermen, they tend to be a little bit more brittle around rocks. They're nice and strong with the bending, but it's if you're hitting them on rocks, that's where the composite comes into play. Then finally we have the Carbon Negra, which we do in collaboration with Dive R. The Carbon Negra is carbon fibre with an Negra weave through the blade. This helps with the strength and the performance. But also, with hitting on rocks, you're getting the same strength with a composite, but having a carbon fibre blade. So that gives you a quick rundown between the different blades we have on offer here. We have the largest range of composite and carbon fibre blades. This is not, we're not limited to just the models here. We have a lot of different models in Dive R, as well as our own range made here in New Zealand.